Hi everybody, welcome to Wood Fired Weekly at Manor from Devon Cooking School. This week we're going to be cooking Yorkshire puddings, nice quick simple recipe. We're going to get straight on with it and put a pan in the oven. I've got one batter I've made up already, I'm going to show you how to do it here. But in the interest of speed, we're going to put a pan in the oven. I'm using sunflower oil, I know some people will already be gasping in amazement that I'm not using beef dripping and how can I possibly think of making this with sunflower oil but it does work I'm putting a sort of generous teaspoonful in each of my muffin tin holes and then that's going to go into a hot oven around about two Mississippis three Mississippis and we'll let that warm up this recipe is in our flatbreads and pancakes book available from us on Amazon and as an ebook we made a batter earlier, always a good idea to make your batter in advance, it allows starches to absorb moisture, to swell up and to soften, giving a different finished effect. So that's been standing for around about an hour. I'll show you how to make it. So in the pan here, plain flour and a little pinch of salt. Going into the middle of there for whole eggs. I'm going to turn the pan round so it heats up evenly. And then I beat all of this together, bringing in a little bit of flour at a time. And that tends to lead to less lumpiness. You could, of course, do this all in a processor. I'm only losing a little bit out of the bowl from time to time. And that's given us a nice thick paste, which I want to beat that just for a minute or so to get rid of most of the, the lumps. Then into my bowl, I'm going to add milk, a little bit to start with, until we turn this from a thick paste into a batter and then we can add the rest. You can see that starting to turn into a liquid now. I can quickly add the rest of that. So that's the batter mixed up and you can see that at the moment it's a single cream consistency and after it's stood for a little while it definitely thickens up as the starches swell and absorb more moisture to more of a double cream consistency. Our pan should definitely be hot enough now. So just a little bit of smoke coming off there much easier to do this from a jug than trying to use a ladle. Half to two thirds full for each pan. So back in we go. Door on to keep the top heat nice and high. The Yorkshires will take a total of 10 to 15 minutes. We'll have a look after six, spin the pan around and then we can see how much longer they're going to take. That's about six minutes cooking time. Lovely rise. So the pudding should be cooked by now. We'll have a look. Whoa, what a fantastic rise. If we flip those over, you see that the, the bottoms are sometimes a little pale and could use just a minute or two. So I'm going to pop those back in. They are, of course, eggy souffle, so they will collapse a little bit once they come out of the oven. The puddings will be cooked now. That's about 14 minutes in total. Brilliant Yorkshire puddings in the wood-fired oven. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a new video every week. We'll put the recipe and notes on our blog and we'll put a, a link to that below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.